morning everyone. We are off on our first staycation of 2020. We're going to Dublin to the Marker Hotel. We were invited to go, so I'm very excited to check it out. Patty has just given Oscar his bottle. We're bringing Oscar with us, obviously. He's too young. Olive is having a nice day and night with Nana and Papa. I have a massage at 1.30, so I'm gonna get the show on the road. So change his bum, back in the car. You getting your burps up? Huh? Are you so excited to go to your first hotel? Are you gonna go in the pool? <laughs> yeah. We have made it to, oh, there we go. Our hotel and Oscar just went for a swim. Yes, and you loved it. And mommy had a nice body, full body massage. Yeah. And this is our room. I'll quickly show you guys before I give him a little bath and I hop in the shower. This is a junior suite and it's a corner unit, so the views are amazing. This is a little cot, obviously for Oscar. Looks like there's some stuff in there for him too, which is really cute. Oh my goodness. Is that a mini robe? Oh my goodness, so cute. Little blanket. I used to have these blankets growing up the silk part. Anyone remember that? Then you have some views out here. How stunning is that? I have a little TV, so it's a little bit of a mess. And the welcome plate, mm-hmm. That, <laughs> Oscar's a fan too, but flip. That is gorgeous. I'm so excited to dive in. This is your first little mini staycation. Yeah. <laughs> I've just had a nice shower. Patty is hopefully dressed down. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready, <laughs> imagine. I'm about to just do my makeup and then we're gonna give Oscar his bottle and go for a walk before dinner because it is gorgeous out. Daddy is all ready. <laughs> Cringing myself out saying that. <laughs> but you look really handsome. We have our masks. Oscar's all ready and looks so handsome. Yes, you do. <laughs> Need to get those straps on. And I'm all ready as well. I'm obsessed with this trench. It's my sister's, you probably already follow her, but she put it on a swipe up. And it's from H&M, and I'm pretty sure it's sold out, but it comes back in stock. Love it, and then this dress is a wrap dress from Dancing Leopard with like floaty sleeves, really flattering. And I think these shoes I bought like last year on ASOS, they're public desire. Really love it. Hair, Luxy hair extensions. Um, I did a video, I think it's basically my last video of my birthday hair and makeup, literally how I do my hair. So if you're curious, you can just watch that video. We're gonna go out for a little walk before dinner. Um, you look how nice it is. Like blue skies, sun shining. Might as well take advantage of it. We're here for dinner. I think I'm gonna go for the linguine prawns and Irish crab, and I think Patty's probably gonna get the steak, which is right underneath it. Everything is really spaced out and safe. Everyone's wearing masks. Everything was covered whenever it arrived. We have our drinks coming in. <laughs> Guess we got the really sweet girly drink. Patty loves passion fruit. passion fruit. This little boy's trying to trying to fall asleep here. It's just so nice and quiet, which is perfect. Perfect for Oscar. Our mains have arrived. I went for a seafood linguine with rosemary fries. Patty got the steak. <laughs> Oscar has now changed positions. This little baby Bjorn jumper is the best thing ever. He loves it, although he just woke up, so he is, uh, uh wanna take this? Mm, there you go, Bubba. 
It's super convenient if you uh, have to go out for dinner and you can't bring anything with you. This is really compact, so it has saved us. We've made it back to the room and we're about to put Oscar down to sleep. Yeah. This is a Baby Mori sleep sack. I'll have basically just finished using these. They're the best ever. You can just unzip the bottom for night changes. We normally don't have um, like a holder for the soother at home, but because we're here and he's in a different environment, I thought it would be easy just to keep it there and I clipped it at the side so if it comes out, it just goes in the side there, which is easy to find. Say good night everyone, see you in the morning. <laughs> Hi, handsome boy. Can you turn on that, remember? Turn, turn, turn. Are you helping daddy? Yeah, no. We have to turn the, I guess, remember? You're putting formula in the formula stack. Can you turn? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I go get Oscar dressed. <laughs> you ready to get dressed? Just got the cutest little package in the mail from my friend Becky back home. She sent me these earrings that her cousin makes. I think it's called Sunday Ray Studios. Really cute earrings. They're like floral designed. Anyways, thank you so much, Becky. It definitely made my day. The card was really cute. We are off to the garden center for some playtime. Olive's all dressed. Olive, come here. Look at this little sass. Oh, watch the wall. I love your little bum bag. It's so cute. Whose balloon is it? Purple. Purple balloon. <laughs> Just going for a little Walk. coastal drive after Buffy for lunch. Mommy. Yes. What is, is it? Purple. Is it a sticker? A poppy. A poppy sticker? Poppy sticker? Yeah. Wow. Do you want to draw when we get home? Okay. Also, I forgot to mention this sweater is from Zara, and I think it was only 19 pounds. And Oscar's little sweater's from Zara too, and it was like 5.99. Just home, and I ordered these off of Precious Baby or Bibs Ireland um, last week. These little silicone bibs are my favorite ever. I have a brown one over there that Olive uses and I thought I'd get a nice little like sky gray blue for Oscar for whenever he starts eating food and then more of the bib soothers these are the ones that he takes but this is the size 6 to 12 months because he's in 0 to 6 at the moment and then this one I believe is um, glow in the dark which will be perfect for nighttime so that I can find it if he needs it um, I'll link them down below, but I've purchased a couple of things from them and I really like them. I'm about to go out for a run. This is my second run of the week. I'm trying to get back into two, if it's a good week, three runs a week. I finally have gotten to the point where I'm not stopping in my 5k. Obviously, everyone needs to go at their own pace. I did the Catch the 5k last year. I'll link my video down below. Absolutely got obsessed with running. And then throughout my pregnancy, I couldn't run because I had really bad pelvic floor or pelvic girdle pain, which is just all your joints are, you know, messed up from growing and whatnot. So I couldn't run, which was fine. So I haven't ran since January, which was like eight months um, of no running. So I took it really slow and kind of just did what I could do, but without pushing myself too hard. And then within two to three weeks, I'm able to run the 5k so my body obviously remembers doing it but it's <laughs> still a process like it's a very slow run i'm still not pushing myself and i do notice sometimes like my knees are just a little bit sore just because obviously my joints aren't used to <laughs> moving like that for a long period of time so um just taking it slow but for the mind it is just so good it's not even body because i find with postpartum everyone's different but this is me and i find so far it's been a similar um postpartum journey with olive and oscar i definitely gained more weight with olive in my pregnancy i, I don't know if that's like a girl thing i've heard when you have when you carry a girl you tend to gain a little bit more but um i tend to gain all over and i don't really have a big belly it just kind of evens out all over maybe it's just the way the baby lies inside for both of my pregnancies but um i definitely notice afterwards 
my body is just bigger everywhere so um it takes time to go down and there's no rush whatsoever i'm not dieting i'm not doing anything other than just running every so often when i feel like i have the energy to but other than that not doing anything exercise wise like vigorously or um dieting which i don't really even believe in dieting i would just probably go into intermittent fasting which i did when i was running last year which again you'll see in the video down below if you're interested so at the moment, I'm eating when I want, just trying to eat a little bit healthier, and uh, running when I can. So enough of the talk. I'm gonna go for a run because I feel like it. Do you wanna tell everyone where we are today? Yeah. Where are we? The farm. We're at the? Farm. The farm. Well, there's the farm section to the zoo. We're at the Dublin Zoo today. We're Hello. right beside a piggy. Olive, what does this piggy say? Wait, wait. Maybe it's gonna talk to you. Yeah. Say it really loud. Oink, oink. Head, oink, oink. <laughs> Piggy, oink, oink. Piggy, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink. You want down? Yeah. Okay. Do you see them? Do you see the baby one? The baby one is cute. Definitely thought <laughs> these animals were wearing masks from afar. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? <laughs> Didn't know that was a... Uh... What do you see, Olive? Will we keep mm -hmm. walking around here and we can see them better? Olive, do you see the chimpanzee? Ooh, hopefully I can get a good zoom on it. They're just sitting. Do you want to go over to the door? Is that Johnny from Sing? Johnny? No, he's a gorilla. Oh. That's <laughs> Johnny. That's Johnny. Okay, what does he sing, Olive? Happy Daddy. So never kind of concluded <laughs> our time at the zoo. It was really lovely, great time with younger kids, especially because older kids are back in school. So if you need a day of activities, highly recommend if you're in Ireland, Northern Ireland. Um, it is Saturday. It is rainy up north. Nothing new. That's kind of the weather we've been having recently. Uh, Patty is going to help a friend with the patio. Sandy is getting groomed. Oscar is sleeping. Olive is having show showtime during um, a bit of lunch because I have to keep her up because I have to pick up Sandy with both kids, bring them back because Patty won't be back in time. But I might do a little canvas. So I put up, well, if you don't know already, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you're just a YouTube subscriber, I started an art page, not um, as a business or anything. It's really just like, a pastime whenever I have time because I wouldn't be able to keep up with it if it was a full-time business. Um, if you don't know, I come from a very artistic family. My grandma was an artist, my aunt's an artist, um, like a business selling art artist. My mom's an art teacher. My brother went to school for art. He's an artist. I just, it, it's in my blood. So I grew up, I was homeschooled until grade eight. So we were very, um, art focus like my mom always had us drawing and doing different things so it's kind of a part of who I am I love it I haven't done it for a while because well life but I put up two pieces on my El Pearls art page and they sold literally within well the first one sold within a couple of minutes and the second one was like an hour later which is crazy I thought I'd kind of show you through the process it's not really um, something that you can, I don't know, art is so up for interpretation. Like some people could absolutely love a piece you do and then other people don't. That's the whole point of art. It's kind of what you see in it. So I'm going to show you the two pieces that I did. I did it with a bit of plaster as well. So this is one piece that I've done. It's like a massive canvas and it's just kind of textured. Kind of looks like sea dollars, sea, sand dollars. Ten dollars. Um, so yeah, this is the first piece. It's kind of like um, I don't know, like it's up for interpretation. You can see a little bit of a sunrise or a sunset, a little bit of a sky, land. Anyways, it's nice and textured, and lots of colors. Second one, if you know me, I'm obsessed with flowers, so I did a whole bunch of um, plaster flowers before painting it, and then kind of just went off of a whole bunch of color colors that I enjoy and came up with this. I also love really plain ones like this so I'm gonna play around with a couple more um, 
textured ones today. So I thought I would kind of take you through the process because a whole bunch of you asked, oh, can you film how to do it, like a DIY? And I feel like I don't do the same one twice. It's kind of, you know, you just do it in the moment. So I'll show you what I do, but um, if you can follow along, great. Um, I don't know if I'm great at teaching art because I'm not an art teacher, but um, yeah, kind of just roll with it. Just, just see where the brush takes you. <laughs> This is the canvas I have. Oh, am I gonna focus? Might not be able to focus. There we go. So it's quite a thick one and it's decently big. This is the size of my hand. Um, so I have, if you live in the UK, I bought this uh, from b and Q. It's called Artex Easy Fix. Um, looks like people do ceilings with it. This focusing on this is not ideal at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's already pre-made, which is really helpful. I feel like it's 12 pounds, um, and there is 1.5 liters in it. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's just like a paste. So I actually use a spatula. I make sure to clean it right away. But I use a spatula, cover the whole canvas, and then I think I'm gonna use a comb for a little bit of texture. So stay tuned. pretty even base. I didn't want it to be perfect so you can see a little bit of the texture at the bottom there. So now I'm going to try something with this. So let's see. I'll have to put the camera down so one second. Okay so I'm actually obsessed with how that turned out. It took a couple of comb throughs to really get it but I love how it created a little bit of extra ridging <laughs> I guess. Made this one a little bit bigger for some height. Love that the background still has texture as well too. So I could totally just let it dry. Let me bring it into another room for lighting purposes. Okay, so this is what it looks like in natural lighting. Actually, <laughs> really love this. So cool. Like if you're into just textured art, like this looks really cool on its own. I might end up painting it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Keep it like this or should I paint it? Let me know in the comments down below, but I thought I would just show you a little bit behind the process. Obviously this one's a little bit bigger than these ones, but I love it. I kind of regret cutting my front pieces, but I'm heading into Belfast with a friend to go to a restaurant called Six by Nico. We are brand ambassadors for the restaurant to basically show you guys their, it's like taster menus, like it's like seven, six, seven of courses, but this one is the chippy, so if you're from the UK, then you know what chippy is like Friday night, Saturday night, takeout food. Um, it's really popular over here. <laughs> if you told me this in Canada, I'd be like, what do you mean like a chip, like ketchup chips? So just clarifying that, but it's kind of based on that, but it's like the gourmet version of it. So got all dressed up, I'm wearing these forever favorite pants with like flare kicks from Zara. Shoes are Zalando, this shirt I bought before or no, just when I got pregnant with Oscar, cause it was like super oversized, never wore it, obviously. Um, from Topshop, earrings are Betty and Biddy. Lipstick is Max Spice with Bare Minerals Cinnamon, kind of dabbed in the middle. So that is the look we're going for. Also wearing my Luxie Hair Extensions in Dirty Blonde Highlight. Shoo, that is it. Good morning, happy Sunday everyone. The great vlogger that I am, completely forgot to show you the entire meal that I had last night. Literally brought my camera in my bag, didn't even look at it once. It was really good if you like um, a chippy style dinner. The next installment of food is 
the Sicilian menu, so I'm really excited for that, and Patty's gonna come with me to that one. Um, it's Sunday, it is really overcast and just kind of blah, it's really cold actually. We have both kids in the car here. Olive, you wanna say hi? Oh, yeah. hi. Uh, I'm Need what? Yeehaw, are you a donkey? Oh, you're Poppy. Is she your favorite troll? Wow, that was so fun. Oh, the troll song. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go for a run, first run of the week, get it done. Don't know how uh, it's gonna be because my knees are mm, at the moment, but they feel fine after I like start running for about five minutes. I started doing some exercises that my friend sent um, to try and strengthen them, but I'm gonna go for a run and just enjoy our Sunday. Happy Monday, everyone. We had a pretty chill um, Sunday. We just stayed out with friends for most of the day and then went over to some more friends for dinner. Really chill, really nice. I've been running around today with Olive. Just met a friend there for coffee, um, just for a little meeting, but I'm gonna edit this vlog so that you guys can watch it. <laughs> I didn't put a video up last week, so I need to be better at posting, but life's a little bit hectic. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.